Today we're going to learn how to model decimal addition. For our problem, we are going to start with 74 hundredths plus 23 hundredths. We are going to make sure we know what number we're starting with. And our first step is to shade the first number in a certain color. I always use red, that's just what I do. You can use whatever color you want as long as it's coded and people can tell um, what you are shading to model. So I'm gonna shade 74 hundredths in my hundredths grid. An easy way to remember, um, instead of counting each individual square 74 times, I know that each column is 10 squares. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 and then one, two, three, four. I'm gonna go ahead and box that out. And I'm gonna shade the whole region very loosely. You don't need to make it perfect, it just needs to be representative of 74 hundredths. Almost done. Okay, so I've loosely shaded 74 hundredths. My second step is to add my second number in a different color. That way I can see what two add-ins we're gonna put together. So I know that two uh, columns is 20 hundred, or sorry, two tenths or 20 hundredths. And then I have one, two, three, so one, two, three, and then we have this over here, and I'm going to shade that. Okay, and my final step is to add together the, all the squares. Instead of going through and counting each individual one, which you could do if you wanted to do that, I know that this entire grid is 100 small cubes. If I take 100 and subtract what's not shaded, which is 3, I get 97 hundredths. And that is how you show the addition model for decimal addition.